There was a certain point after like maybe the second day or something where we were rehearsing something and I was just like not feeling it. And I was just kind of like, well, you know, maybe this, maybe this record's just the one that's not going to be that good. <laughs> So then Larnell came in uh, like Superman and played his tail off. Good lord. So he flies through the night. Was it your Saturday night? Your Sunday night? It was my Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Sunday evening, yeah. He flew to Holland and arrived here this morning, right? He got in the day that we started recording. We waited two hours for a taxi that we hired that didn't show up yeah. at the airport. And then got here at like 10.30 or 11. Yeah, he had a couple hours. Anyway, and it took us four days. It four days to learn. Yeah, two hours. I wasn't sure how musically they would react. So I, I know how they react to me when I'm, you know, when I'm playing stuff that Spud has already played. But in terms of what I'm coming with and how I'm actually going to shift and move the music, they've been rehearsing the music without drums. He only played like one or two of these songs before today. <laughs> I decided just not to worry, just to play and make music and have fun. And they were really welcoming and, and made it easy for me. And then everything started to gel really quick. And we're like, okay, these students are really cool. You know, this can be really good. It's just that we didn't have a really essential part of the band. I just kind of smile and laugh when the when the the really unpredictable, potentially horrific stuff happens. Like it's just to me, it's funny because I because I have the confidence that in the end, you know, the people that I'm surrounded by, it's not going to be anything but really fun.